A 3D printed snap hook that breaks during assembly is one of the most frustrating moments for a designer. Simple and elegant parts that were supposed to easily and firmly snap together quickly turned into a pile of broken parts destined to be thrown into the trash. But don't throw your design away into the trash just yet. You might be one simple change away from successful snap fit joints with 3D printed parts. In this video, we will review the biggest challenges you will face when designing 3D printed snap fit joints and how to overcome it. Let's dive in. So why is it that the 3D printed snap hooks have a tendency to break so easily? The answer is because of the biggest disadvantage of 3D printed parts using the FDM technology, specifically poor layer adhesion. FDM 3D printed parts are simply not equally strong in all directions. Specifically, the individual layers don't adhere to each other as strongly as filament across the layer plane. And to make it worse, the small cross section of the hook can be along the weakest direction of the part, if the part is not designed or 3D printed properly. Although this can get very frustrating for the designer, there is a way around it. The solution is actually really simple. Design and 3D print the parts so that the snap hooks are printed on their sides. This will make sure that the bending forces are distributed along the layers instead of between the layers. To demonstrate this, let's look at a simplified snap fit joint. Here we have two simple clips. Each clip has two snap hooks on opposing sides. Both designs are identical and 3D printed from ABS with solid infill. The only difference is the orientation the part was printed in. Clip number one was printed with snap hooks standing upright. When installing clip one, the snap hooks breaks off at the hook base right along the layer lines. In contrast, Clip number two was printed with the snap hooks lying flat on the build plate. When installing clip two, the hooks clip in place just as expected without breaking. Now you are probably thinking, of course it was easy to print the hook on its side in the simplified design. Real world parts are complex and printing the hook on its side is not always easy to do. Yes, I agree. In the real world, 3D printing hooks on their sides can get challenging. And this is where we as engineers need to get very creative to design parts that fit our application under all of the challenging requirements. Do you have an example of a challenging snap fit joint that you are working on? If yes, then comment below with what snap fit you are working on right now. 